Today, I'm leaning as hard as I possibly can into pumpkin spice coffee themes and introducing you to what has got to be the most cringily named cocktail I've ever come up with. <laughs> We're doing a white girl wasted day five of 25 drinks of Christmas. Let's go. Hey there, hi there, ho there, and hello. My name is Michael. I'm a former bartender from the Kalamazoo area in Michigan. And today we're doing day number five of 25 drinks of Christmas. Pumpkin spice is something I can actually appreciate. I, I don't know what it is about the duality of it that makes people either hate or love it. I don't understand why it isn't available year round. Like it could be popular no matter what. The number of people who buy pumpkin spice stuff around like October, like Halloween times is through the roof. It doesn't make sense to me. Either way, I love pumpkin spice and I wanted to make a cocktail that was leaning as hard into the trope of basic white women absolutely adoring this ridiculous spice. Yes, T, I see you raising your hand. I'm putting a record scratch sound effect in as you say that. <laughs> you mean to tell me that there's already a white girl waste? What's in it? Lotus strawberries in a glass, and that has some type of vodka, soda water, and lemon juice. That's that's a white girl wasted? I mean, I get it. It's it's, it's like an enhanced white claw, basically. Mm -hmm. they just, you're just describing how you make a cocktail version of a white claw. Mine has parentheses around the word wasted. That's the difference. <laughs> white girl. Wasted. There's a pause. You have to put the pause in. It's legally distinct. We're doing a pumpkin spice martini on 25 drinks for Christmas. <laughs> so this is going to be um, basically all of those, an element of every part of the trope of what uh, pumpkin spice co like, what, like coffee is, like pumpkin spice latte. I have fireball here because trashy white people love fireball. Let's just face it. They do. Some cold brew coffee. Um, hmm? Hmm? Me? Yeah. You. Fire. Oh shit. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I had black. I had blacked that out. Fuck. You're absolutely right. Fun story. Story time, real quick. Uh, in my freshman year of college, I was introduced to booze for the first time. I stupidly make. It was like, what was it? Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was mixing. Um, fireball, lemonade, and raspberry vodka. Something about my brain back then thought that was good. Yeah. I mean, I was drinking them both sep. I was drinking them separately, and then they, they they came together in one glass at one point. I was drinking a lot of water. I thought I'd be fine. I was not fine. <laughs> don't, don't, yeah, yeah, unless yeah, unless you're our buddy Riley, who is a literal tank. My God, I've seen that man. Dr we we went to Chicago with him in the summer. We drank all day. I don't think I saw him touch a, a glass of water. And the only problem he had is he got heat stroke because it was so hot. Fine, otherwise. I don't understand. Be careful out there, folks. <laughs> anyway, fireball, because basic white people. Cold brew coffee, some Angostura bitters. What are they? Throw a little bit of sweetness in here, some simple syrup. You're gonna need some heavy cream. All I could find was heavy whipping cream. The only difference is this has stabilizers in it that make it easier to build foam out of. So if you're making like homemade whipped cream, you don't need that, but it's about all you can find practically. So it's okay. And then this right here, um, this is a pumpkin pie cream liqueur. I found this at uh, the East Coast equivalent of BevMo, Mega Bev. And it seemed like a fitting way to make a sort of latte cream focus thing while still having pumpkin flavors in it. So let's get started. This is a shaken cocktail. Um, so we're gonna have to start off with our cocktail shaker. I'm gonna throw in two dashes of Angostura bitters. Next up, you need an ounce and a half of Fireball. Next up, you're gonna need an ounce of uh, cold brew coffee. You wanna use cold brew here as opposed to a hot coffee because it's gonna be a little bit stronger and carry more of that flavor. Uh, I'm going to throw in now uh, half, a, just, just shy quarter to at most half an ounce of simple syrup. You don't need a lot because we're adding cream and then already adding a liqueur to this. And Fireball's already as sweet enough as it is. It's basically just melted red hots. This is just to bring the drink together and kind of enhance some of the flavors. Gonna go ahead and add an ounce of this pumpkin pie cream liqueur with this extremely high quality plastic cap. Wow, this is just not, there we go. Yep, that smells like pumpkin pie. That smells like pumpkin pie, actually, wow. Okay, maybe this doesn't suck. We're gonna finish this off with uh, an ounce of our heavy cream. Pour that on in there. 
We're gonna do what's called a dry shake here to create a foam out of that cream. What that is is essentially shaking without ice or any chilling uh, so that we can build a foam out of those cream products. And what you saw me do there was I threw the spring from my Hawthorne strainer in there. That adds like an extra point where the contents of the shaker can bounce off of to help build that, you know, that kind of foamy head we want a little bit faster. All right, once you got that shaken up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add some ice to this and uh, chill it down. So we're gonna add two cubes of ice, one large hole, and then one cracked ice cube. This provides both agitation and proper chilling. So you're getting the most out of what you're putting into the shaker. Now we're gonna do a second shake to chill and dilute, and then we will be good to go. Fucking shit, fuck. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Case in point, hold your shaker firmly. <laughs> God damn it. Minor crisis averted. Hold your shaker firmly. Give it a good shake. We're gonna serve this in a coupe style glass. I have these kind of nice wide ones. I'm gonna double strain this to keep any loose, small ice chips from falling into it. You'll notice that because of the way the foam sort of starts to form towards the top, you might see like a slight ombre effect as it starts to kind of coagulate towards the top. Okay, now that we're back from the precipice of failure, you can see sort of faintly that there's this kind of uh, line here where the foam we created with that cream is resting on top. Uh, as far as garnishes goes, you could just hit this with some nutmeg and call it done, sort of a classic style. I'm going to go extremely extra. <laughs> I bought these, this is a pumpkin snickerdoodle cookie. I'm just going to rest that right on the edge there. Kind of let that dip in. And there you go. <laughs> it's stupid and excessive and exactly what this drink needs. <laughs> let us give this a taste. Yeah, that tastes exactly like a pumpkin spice cold brew, but a martini. <laughs> it's got this like really light note uh, from the fireball we put in here, this kind of background cinnamon and the pumpkin actually comes through pretty strong. A lot of what you're getting is coffee. Cold brew is like a really bold flavor compared to like, like uh, something like a coffee liqueur. Um, it's not going to fall to the background as much. So you're getting a lot of that coffee flavor, but it's sort of, you know, relaxed and not super in your face like a, uh, like a straight cup of black coffee would be. And what's even better is you take your sip of the cocktail and just turn it around and just kind of go. I've already had two of these. These are so good. I love these. Want to try some? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Created a very gentle balance. Ooh. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. What happened? Mm -hmm. You really enjoying it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought something was going sideways on you. I was like, oh shit, did the cookie fall out or something? Really good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I could tell it's really good because she's not saying anything. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's, that's I, I filmed this and the Rubius in the same day. That's, that's two home runs right there in my, in my book. That's pretty damn good. What do you like about it? Um, I like the, um, coffee flavor. It's not too, um, it's not too strong. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's very coffee Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, a nice balance between the coffee Yeah. The, it, if you were to use like a coffee liqueur, it'd be so much sweeter. It'd be like really candy-like, like a couple sips of it and you'd be probably done. Like, like that's too much. Plus the foamy head on top is just really creamy. Like yeah. it's just, it's nice. This is really good. <laughs> I really like this. Thank you. I have to ask for it back uh, to finish the shot, but do, do you, do you want to finish this one? Uh. But yeah, it's, it's surprisingly light for having as much cream in it as it does. This sort of whipped cream foam we've established on the top is nice and thick and just really good. Yeah, if, like if you were to go to like Bigby, for example, and get like a, a pumpkin spice cold, like sweet foam cold brew, this is what you would get. This is actually exactly what that tastes like. And this cookie garnish is ridiculous and stupid as it looks. Is a nice, is a nice pairing. It works. I might make another one of these as a nightcap because I'm very, very much enjoying this. Now, what are, what are, here, I'm gonna try a thing. I'm gonna actually dip the cookie in it. Yeah. Yeah, do that. That's good. 
This really, this is really fucking good. Well, that is, um, well, a cocktail that has, technically speaking, no name. Although, what do you want to, well, what do you think we should name it? Because White Girl Wasted's taken. I really should have researched that. <laughs> Shouldn't, I really should have looked up, hey, is there a cocktail called the White Girl Wasted? No. <laughs> I thought there was one you found out, like... No, there, was, there probably was one. I just probably don't remember which one it was. I'm just gonna rock with it. Pumpkin Spice Martini. It just works. That's what it, it describes it perfectly. The uh, Pumpkin Spice Latte Martini. It's got the coffee in there. It's so verbose, but it gets the point across. Yeah, that is, uh, so that's the uh, Pumpkin Spice Latte Martini. Thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been... Uh, day five of 25 Drinks of Christmas. We're going strong, and if you want to catch along with that, you can click that subscribe button down below and like the videos and share them with your friends and and boast about how, hey, I follow this guy who comes up with really cool cocktails that are actually rather cost-effective in this case. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with the next episode right here, same time, 25 Drinks of Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye. The floor is so... Ah, uh, the floor is sticky. Fuck.